Well, working on this back valve cover back here. This thing's pretty buried, so I'm hoping I can show you guys how to get it out, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how it turns out. Okay, right now I'm just using a, an 8 millimeter. There's this bolt right here. One, there's eight of them. So, this thing to do is just get down. Got that bolt. Okay, that's two bolts. Yep, it's out. You just got a feel for it. Okay, that one's loose. Okay. On to the next one. You just gotta put your hand on it, feel for it. Four. I'm reaching for this one. And that one's loose. Now this last. Should be one right here. So I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna get these injectors out of my way. Okay. Got that one out of the way. Well, let me show you guys this. I've gotten okay, so there was one here, 
that I removed first. Remove that one. That's right there. I remove this one back here. I don't know if I can show you guys this, but I'm hoping there's four in the back. One. Uh, trying to show you the one. I don't even know if I can show you this because I think it's buried. Hopefully that caught it, but I don't know. There's four back here. And the other two, the ones that are hard to get to, are the ones right here up front. You gotta stick something in here, like, and reach through it. And you can see it right here. I'm gonna you try to use a flex ratchet to get that one. Gotta go grab it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to use a flex wrench to get that one. Here I got an eight millimeter flex flex head wrench, ratchet wrench. I'm hoping I can fit it on there, just like that, and break it free. <clears throat> it's on there. I'm going to break this one free, hopefully. If you don't own a set of these, I recommend you get some. These are handy wrenches. These are my new favorite tools. Too tight for me to break free. There we go. You just work it free. Um, okay. You can see I got all the bolts to hold the valve cover on loose. Uh, now I'm going to try to remove this thing. Uh, I recommend I'm, I'm just going to grab it and try to grab it around here and just try to lift it up. Just try to lift it up, work it out. There's a hose here in the way I'm trying to I'm gonna take it out this way this power steering hose is giving me a little grief but I got it I'm hung up on something PVC valve hung up. You just gotta work it out. Okay. Yep, super dirty. I'm just gonna set this down here. I'll show you more on that in a second. But I just want to show you how crusty. See how dirty that flange is? Really now you just gotta spend like the next hour or so just scrubbing this thing down, and getting it clean back one's kind of buried back here harder to get to and clean up this fr this front one's easy to get to but this back one's the real pain so I just gotta I'm just gonna scrub that thing up and clean it up and try to get it ready to go back on clean up the valve cover get it ready to go back on just a whole lot of cleaning all right well I'll let you I'll show you guys when I'm done I've been scrubbing this valve cover for about an hour I just want to show you how clean I got it. Uh, I don't even know if you can see it. I'm trying to make it where. But the point is, you get over here. See, I got that pretty clean. It was real scuzzy and dirty. I scrubbed this thing for about an hour. Really, the hardest part was was the parts between this intake manifold. 
because it's hard to get your fingers in there to really wipe it down good but I think uh, I did a pretty good job all in all that's about how it should look before you put your stuff on you don't want to put it back on there if it's cr crummy and oily and nasty and you want a clean mating surface so that gasket will seal good okay well now I gotta get started on the valve cover I spent all this time scrubbing the uh, scrubbing the uh, the cylinder head part. I'm going to pull this gasket out. Just to show you what I got here. You can see where it failed. Where it was leaking. Uh, you see how this part's smushed down? Really flat. Should be a ridge there and it's like flat. So both, actually both sides are pretty worn but you can even see where all the oil was leaking out see how it's right here is real black that's where it was leaking oil and you can tell that it was smushed flat real easy to see and so basically I just got to clean up this valve cover I got to replace pull these little gaskets right here clean up the bolts and then, uh, then I should be ready to install this thing. All right. Got my cylinder head cleaned up real good. I got my valve cover cleaned up real good. I have the, the gasket in place. I replaced all the rubber grommets. And getting ready to throw it in place. Fight this power steering hose. Okay. All right. I think I can get it in now. I think. Okay. All right. Got it sitting in place. I just want to go around and. Get a couple turns on each bolt. Just get a couple turns on it. Just get it started. Couple turns. It's getting darker out here, harder to see, but all right, got it started. I'm not torquing it down. I'm just making sure I can get all the bolts started. You don't want to tighten any of them down until you make sure you got all of them started. Ok, 
got that one started. I'm just using an extension because it's quick. Okay, got that one started. Okay. I think I already got that one. Okay. Now the two I gotta get are the two in the middle. And for that I'm gonna use a swivel socket. I got them all snugged up. Now I'm gonna go get them a torque wrench and torque them to a 105 inch pounds. And basically I'm gonna do a double X pattern. It didn't show a pattern in my book. It just said torque it to 105 inch pounds. Not foot pounds, inch pounds. Uh, 105 inch pounds to get foot pounds is uh, you know 12, 12 inch pounds equals one foot pound. So not very much if you don't have an inch pounds you can if you have a foot pounds you can use that but you got to do the math Tw for every 12 inch pounds equals one foot pound so uh, anyway I'm gonna go get my torque wrench X pattern on the inside then an X pattern on the outside so it'll be like here 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 hope that makes sense find this back one so, That's one. reach for it and turn it okay. that one. I'm gonna do the one in the back this back corner back here. Which 
and cut that one. I'm going to do this corner right here. That one's good. That corner here. That one's good. I'm going to do this last one here. Okay. I did them all. Now I'm just going to go back through and do them one more time just for, you know, just to go through again. So, start back here in the middle. That one's good. That one's good. Lost my sock. Got it. Sounds good. Try this one. That one's good. Now I'm going to go back to this corner. That one's good. Go here. That one's good. Bugs around. That one's good. Last one. That one's good. So, all eight are torqued to spec. And I'm going to call it quits for the night. Uh, all I have left to do now is, uh, well, as far as the valve covers, they're done. But while I was here, I was going to do some other things that's not a part of this video. I'm going to clean up my injectors, replace all the O-rings on it while I got it out, and I'm going to power wash all this stuff in here. But you got to do that a little later on. But my valve covers are done, so it's a good stopping point.